home farm ideas and today um, I'm gonna be planting out some uh, Creole Rocam bowl garlic uh, I just got this stuff from Baker Creek and um, I'm gonna be planting them out of my root pouches which is another thing that I wanted to show you guys these root pouches are awesome but I'm just gonna be planting out the uh, garlic and showing you guys kind of what I'm doing um, this garlic I don't know if you can see that it is a hardneck variety right and see it's a smaller garlic but it's a hardneck variety and basically you're gonna get a more um, like a stronger uh, flavor from this garlic but it's not gonna store as well as the soft neck varieties so I think I'm gonna be planting both of those but the hard neck varieties don't store as well so if you're gonna eat them up pretty quick then you definitely want to plant out the hard neck varieties because a lot of them they have more bold flavors um, you know like they want to run down mountains and, and, and go skydiving and stuff so <laughs> so anyways so that's what I'm gonna be doing but the cool thing about this is is that I'm gonna be planting these out in my aquaponic system and these root pouches and these root pouches what they're gonna do is they're gonna wick the water up um, now I have the bags filled up with cocoa core um, so there's not a whole lot of nutrient uh, availability from cocoa core but um, like I said I'm gonna be planting them out in my in my aquaponic system and um, so the water is gonna get wicked up into these pouches and then um, the garlic's gonna get watered that way and that's the other reason why I'm planting them out in um, uh, my aquaponic system is because I don't have to water them this way they are automatically watered through um, you know the water circulation um, now it, you could put them in the bags and you could just water the bags or you can put them under a drip system or whatever um, but I'm not gonna do that um, but the option is there basically so when you get these bags you can actually use them um, in a lot of different applications including hydroponics regular gardening and then uh, aquaponics so with that said this is not gonna be a super long video I'm just gonna plant the garlics out and show you how I do it in my aquaponic system and then over a period of time I'm gonna give you guys updates because you know what I can't just do all these videos all at once because this stuff has to take time to grow so as usual you guys know put comments in the comment section below if you know more about this garlic than I do which is really possible because I've never grown it before uh, post it in the comment section below as well all right so yeah let's get to it all right so as I promised here is the bags and these are the root pouches okay uh, great company too they contacted me and they gave me a bunch of these bags so that I can utilize them in my aquaponic system um, and just see how I like them and um, I've already cheated and started using them a little bit so um, forgive me you guys but uh, I wanted to know a little bit about them before I, I basically use them um, just real quick they are made of um, BPA free plastic bottles and a fabric or a dyed fabric which is where you get the color of the uh, bags and they come in a bunch of different colored varieties and sizes um, I'm gonna be using three uh, gallon pots for this um, just because I want to be able to um, see the bags inside the uh, inside the grow bed that I'm gonna be putting these in um, so and they're an Oregon based company um, so yeah, they, they, they make some good bags. These things are sturdy. They are UV resistant, so they're going to last you a while. Um, the only thing is, is that, you know, with pots, with regular pots that you would buy, like plastic pots, they'll break down in the sun just as much as these. So you'll get these to last for a few seasons, maybe three or four seasons. Um, I'm not sure, um, just how long they last, but they're not going to last forever. I mean, they're made of fabric and uh, these uh, plastics that do break down over time the durability of it basically so the pot will start to probably get crunchy uh, over time um, but the cool thing about these is that you can break them down um, at the end of the growing season you can wash them out real good and then you can use like a slight detergent uh, really slight detergent and put them in the washing machine and then fold them up and, and store them away so that'll prolong the life of these things so with that said um, I'm just gonna each each one of these bags i'm going to do three bags of these so each one of these bags i'm only going to put three cl cloves of garlic okay and when you're when you're um choosing the garlic you don't want to put the smaller ones in there you want to put the biggest ones you can find and so here's all the garlic that i have from one clove that is a tiny one um now if you have it and you need to use it use it um but each one of these like i said i'm going to plant out I'm gonna plant out three bags for this garlic 
and I'm gonna use three garlics per bag. So this is how easy it is. You wanna go about an inch down, okay? Don't cover it up yet, because you wanna know that you're basically, that you planted this one. So I'm gonna do like a little pyramid style planting, okay? And this is kind of how you would do it in soil as well, just, uh, as well, just regular soil. Okay, so there we go. Nice and planted out already. Okay, so now, uh, at this point you would want to cover it up, but like I said, I'm gonna plant out three bags. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that whole process. I'm basically just gonna plant them out and then I'm gonna show you where I'm putting them in my aquaponic system. Also, another thing I forgot to add is that when you're planting them, um, obviously the depth matters. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get this to focus. All right, so obviously the depth matters, but also the direction matters. So, um, I should hashtag that, huh? Planting direction matters. <laughs> so, but anyways, so you want to do it to where this end right here is down, okay? And that end is up because when it sprouts, the garlic is going to sprout out of here, okay? Or the shoot is going to come out of there and the roots are gonna go straight down from there. So when you plant it into your planter or whatever you're going to do in your soil, wherever it is, you need to plant it straight down like this. All right, so here it is. I got my water inlet here, and then I got my water outlet here, and that goes back to my sump tank. So this is how easy it is for me in aquaponics. I'm basically gonna take these bags and I'm gonna put them in here this is about an inch of water. And I'm gonna do three across, that way foliage has room to grow. I'm only putting them in the middle right now because I'm trying to show you guys basically. Um, but I'm gonna fill this whole thing up with bags. And clearly this water outlet is impeding my awesome setup here. Uh, as you can see, there's algae growing on the bottom. Um, that could become a problem for your aquaponic system because you don't want to grow too much algae because it'll cause pH to fluctuate in your system. Um, but I do have giant snails in here that are actually hiding behind the pipe because there's shade over there and they tend to like that. Um, but with these bags, they're going to go in and out and they're going to be eating the algae off the bags and everything. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just want to cover up those those indentations and you know a little about these is basically they will um, the water will wick up into these bags and uh, you'll see when I do another update you'll see the tops of the soil is actually going to be a little moist but they wick just enough water for each plant in there so and that's how easy it is basically so Pretty cool, huh? Sorry about the camera shaking, but it's the angle I have it in, and I I'm not a professional. So, anyways, um, a couple more things, though, that I wanted to share with you. So, from time to planting to time to harvest, it really depends on the variety of garlic that you have, um, and then also um, how much sunlight it's getting. Um, typically, you want to give them full sun. Um, so six hours to eight hours of sun is, is great for these, uh, for all gar most garlics. Um, so, and then from that, it'll take about, depending on, you know, type, it'll take about six to, uh, nine months, um, you know, to harvest and cure and everything. So, um, so anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. I look forward to doing some updates. I am going to move these back right here. So we'll know this back row is, um, going to be. Uh, uh, these Creole garlics. So, um, and then I'll label them and stuff like that. That way you guys can see it and everything. So, anyways, um, like always, you guys, thank you so much for following me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, so I always look forward to doing these videos. All right. So, anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.